left us interviewing Gorka. <laughs> and Gorka got a little angry and got peeved off. You know, it's there's a lot of intrigue, but this is the murky waters that Gorka encountered and with what he encountered and the information that he acquired in working with the president and Steve Bannon, they realized that they do have a mission outside the White House and that they can achieve a lot more as citizens that they are and still has the ear of the president, still can talk to the president. And between him and Steve Bannon and uh, Brett Bart News, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing uh, that they – and Gorka will be continually on the news and probably writing another book, I would imagine. Um, he's got a great book out about how to uh, once and for all get rid of jihad. And it's been a New York Times bestseller, but uh, he's been on the broadcast before. Uh, it's interesting how people speculate why people leave, but just like there is an all out initiative of the left to try to get Trump ejected, I think they realize that outside, just like the, a lot of these groups um, are better off and uh, are freer to go around the country um, and not be connected to the federal government as free agents. And so I think Gorka will be much more effective for the president and Steve Bannon both. And I'm, I'm thinking that uh, the left probably sees that what they're going to do is they're going to unveil a lot of the deceit that's going on right now. And and I already see, it's like some of the floodwaters are going down in Texas. I almost see kind of like the left, you know, Nancy Pelosi starting to make a little sense right now. Uh, fine goal, you know, p- people for the left right now starting to make a little bit more sense. Dianne Feinstein, you know, I mentioned yesterday, played some audio from a speech. Uh, not so quick to go there, not so quick to uh, discount Donald Trump from the White House and his position. Uh, others, I think, will eventually come on board, but they do see this unhinging uh, and this radicalness for people that are on, you know, they're dem dems. And I, I think that, you know, both of them are saying, hey, uh, you know, enough. There's the left, and then there's the wheel left lunacy, and they're, and they're kind of distancing, distancing themselves. And I hope they continue onto that course because if they don't, it's going to be very difficult, honestly, to be able to go against Trump four years from now. Somebody's going to have to be sober. Somebody's going to have to be of sound mind. Somebody will have to be there, and I think. They're trying to stay afloat here. Hey, wait a second here. Yeah, maybe we don't want to be associated with these leftist radicals here that are inflicting injuries uh, against these folks here because they're not looking any better than them. And that's going to be hurting their reputation. So distancing is a really good thing. I think there's hope. I, 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 I say it again. I think there might be hope for the Democratic Party. Uh, with Nancy Pelosi um, yesterday in San Francisco. I, I Did you hear the speech yesterday? Should we dial it up? Uh, yeah, it might be worth doing it with uh, Feinstein, but that was really, really good. Uh, very, very powerful where she's like, yeah, I don't know. And she got jeered uh, from this love fest on stage. Let's just play some of that again. Why not? You got a cued? Okay. turn against President Trump. <laughs> They're a little late by my watch. <laughs> Criticize him publicly and urge his resignation or impeachment. Uh, well, this is Feinstein said <laughs> well, and that she's going to speak. Um. I'd really rather not comment. (laughs) However, I think, um, you know, you all know impeachment, and the House brings the impeachment, and then the Senate sits as a court and votes. At the end, there's a trial in front of the Senate. And um, kind of been there, done that. It's not... (laughs) 
Yeah, we've both done that. Not the greatest thing in the world, that's for sure. Um, look, this man is going to be president, most likely for the rest of this term. I just hope he has the ability to learn and to change. And if he does, he can be a good president. And that's my hope. Um, I have my own personal feelings about it. Yeah, I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. All right. Well, that, uh, to me, you know, she was trying to be cool, but, she, you know, was sound of mind is saying, you know, come on, guys, you know, don't be ridiculous here. The guy's going to be the president. Uh, you know, how many seven over seven hundred million dollars just on advertisements, um, tons of money that the left in Hollywood put out couldn't win. And at this moment, still couldn't because they don't have a message and their message fell flat. Donald Trump simply had a better message. It was about time. It was a populist and a message that it was a message that resonated with working, working Americans. It's working Americans uh, in flyover country, middle America, and plenty of cities too that voted for him. I know plenty of people here in in Florida. Yep, in in, in uh, Tampa, Florida, and uh, West Palm Beach and Miami, Florida. Plenty of minorities. Maybe not so much on the left coast, but everywhere else. I mean, the maps, you saw the colors. And, baby, I was there reporting it on this network. And uh, I predicted that he would win long before anybody else really even wanted to embrace it. Because it was a message that, uh, quite frankly, was long overdue. It was a message that America wanted to embrace because of eight years of failed policy under Barack Obama um, gave rise to terrorism, rogue nations, and gave our military the disadvantage on the battlefield. Let's just call it for what it is. Let our veterans down. Let our cities down. Let our economy down. You didn't build it. You didn't do it. Barack Obama, remember, hope and change, hope and change. What change? Uh, yeah, the country changed. All right, let's 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 monkey with the social dynamics of the country. Let's deal with that. Let's race bait. Let's aggravate. You know, if there's divisions in our country, Donald Trump didn't divide us. There was divisions already there long before. It's amazing with some recent polls that have come out about the division or the divide of this country and. Billy Joel, remember this, the the the, uh, the song "We Didn't Start the Fire," folks. The fire's been going a long time for a lot of different issues. There's a remedy, and that is common sense. That's something that we talk about daily. If that's refreshing to you, then keep it right here to For the People. Our website's forthepeopleshow.com. Do you check it out? We'll be back right after this. It's done like anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew is I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it, don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. 
The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft. I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Wounded Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had to drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. For the people is there. Some things in life need a little attention. Like a plant. If not watered, it begins to turn brown. But if watered properly, its leaves turn green again. Like a plant, For the People needs watering too. Your thoughtfulness provides sustainability for us to grow and reach our full potential. You see, For the People depends on you to broadcast this program to help inform and educate folks so you can make a difference right where you are. Grab your watering can and join us as we endeavor to make a difference in people's lives each and every day. To donate, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just look for the watering can and water as much as you can. At For The People, our garden is full of opportunities, and planting something allows others to enjoy the benefits. At For The People, our mission is simple. Give you the news that matters with good old-fashioned common sense, mixed with a conservative point of view. Simply log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Thanks for your support. For the People has a special opportunity for you. If you own a business and want to gain a national audience that is loyal and will do business with you, imagine being able to get your product and or service into the hands of tens of thousands of people each week. Sponsorship opportunities are now available at rates you can afford. Finally, the show you love with your business supporting what we do in partnership. Start running your commercials today. To contact us, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Some things in life need a little attention. Like a plant. If not watered, it begins to turn brown. But if watered properly, its leaves turn green again. Like a plant, For the People needs watering too. Your thoughtfulness provides sustainability for us to grow and reach our full potential. You see, For the People depends on you to broadcast this program to help inform and educate folks so you can make a difference right where you are. Grab your watering can and join us as we endeavor to make a difference in people's lives each and every day. To donate, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just look for the watering can and water as much as you can. At For The People, our garden is full of opportunities, and planting something allows others to enjoy the benefits. At For The People, our mission is simple. Give you the news that matters with good old-fashioned common sense, mixed with a conservative point of view. Simply log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Thanks for your support. For the people is there. And For the People is back on your radio. Here we are. Getting ready for the uh, holiday, are you? Man, I had a good deal. It's, you know, in Publix, you have to kind of look around a little bit if you have Publix. It's uh, kind of like a jewel, I guess, is the only uh, thing that uh, it's comparable there. Not an Acme if you're on the East Coast. More like a jewel. Uh, but it's, uh, it's what do they say? We're shopping is a pleasure. But uh, I got the, uh, the bratwurst there. Um, I got like 12 of those for $9.99. I got the mild ones. Yeah, for grilling. They're perfect. Nine ninety nine. I thought that was a really good deal. Now's the time if you like to stock up your freezer. What I do, I'm kind of a nerd. I um and some of you might be. I like to I don't like to overcook. I hate wasting food. So if I can dole out if there's just the three of us eating, okay, the dogs always want what we have, but they eat their dog food. They're small dogs, so if you get them off their regimen, they just uh, have accidents and things. So we don't want to do that. So they just eat their their healthy lamb and rice formula, and they're happy. You got a chihuahua and a shih tzu. 
So between the two, they're happy. But anyway, dole out the, you know, here, here's three sausages, here's three chicken breasts, and I have it just all, you know, 